You stand apart when you're separate, when you're unique. Kodesh is unique. You're unique. You're not like everyone else. You're sacred. You get blessing. When you do something that's counter your nature, you'll see blessing. I'll tell you an amazing story that I saw from Rob Zilberstein. There was a baby born, a boy, and they were going to celebrate a Shalom Zahar. Now the Shalom Zahar coincided, because Shalom Zahar is always on a Friday night. It's the big celebration before, prior to the bris. It's a special, the Shabbos protects the baby going into the bris. And it's a special celebration that's marked only on Friday night. This Friday night happened to coincide with Simchas Torah. So the night that they're supposed to have the Shalom Zahar, everyone was feverishly dancing and celebrating. And by the time the Shalom Zahar would arrive, people were exasperated, people were exhausted and fatigued. And they wanted to just go home and hit the sack, you know, to go to sleep. So this father, his new father, he's all ecstatic and happy to celebrate the Shalom Zahar. And he prepares a whole spread. And from all the entire community, all his family, six men decide, you know, he'll probably have no one there. We're tired. We've got to go against our nature. We're hungry. We've got to go against our nature. We can eat there, you know. <laughs> and they were Kodesh. They were holy. And they showed up for the Shalom Zahra. You won't believe what happened. Of those six men, two of them were childless, never had children. One of them had eight daughters, never had a son. I remember when I was in Yeshiva, we had a guy there who had nine girls. And every time a baby was born, you know, he was hoping and praying. And I was thinking, like, if that tenth baby isn't a boy, he's going to kill his wife. <laughs> you know, like, uh, it's not her fault, right? Not, not literally. <laughs> I'm just you know, saying, you know, he's going to be like, ah. Listen, we've got to realize the woman gives the X chromosome, it's the guy that gives the Y chromosome, right? Anyhow. But um, finally, the tenth baby, he had a boy. <laughs> it was like, I was so relieved, you know. And I said, like, finally, they have some shalom bias. You know? Anyhow, so of these six guys that went, two of them were childless, one had eight daughters. And the other three were, had families. That year, all six men became fathers. The two that were childless had baby boys. The one that had eight girls had a baby boy. And the other three men all had baby boys. All six of them had baby boys. All right? Why? Because when no one cared, when no one stepped up to the plate... When no one shouldered someone else's burden and pain and said, you know, I'm going to be there to share in the person's simcha. Six men did. Six men were Kodesh. And six men were answered. 